think playing on the road, it adds a little bit of excitement, but I guess um, you just got to take it every game the same. You know, we got, um, we're going to play to our standard, and, uh, you know, these are the kind of games you got to watch out for. You know, you look at Appalachian State and Michigan, you know, those kind of upsets, and we, um, we realize that that's possible, so we're just going to go out and play our game and, and do the best we can. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, I think he's matured a lot just from the spring till now. I think he's done a great job leading everybody. I think if he just relax and plays, I think uh, sky's the limits for him, and I think uh, I think we'll be fine. Um, when you get when you get thrown in the fire like that, especially, you know, he was his first game, freshman, I don't think there's any tougher situation. Um, I think he's gonna be a great player in the future. And if you look at his past, you know, his high school records and stuff, all those championships he's won, I think he's a proven winner and I think uh he's gonna do the same here. I think uh, I think Mike's had a good two a days. I think he's been a good playmaker. Um, he brings a lot to the table. I think not just him. I think Darius White has had a good camp too. Also, um, John Harris has shown some stuff, and Chris Jones too. I think all, that whole group. Uh, I think they're going to be really good in the future, whether it's this year or next year. Um, I think they all bring something to the table that, that will help the team. Kind of enjoy those guys along. Kind of fun process for you. Doing it's that. fun because I was just there not too long ago. And I realize it goes fast, but um, anytime I can help, you know, younger guys out and make the team better, I'm, I'm willing to do it. How do you prepare those younger guys for this weekend? Just in practice, how is it a huge game? Um, just kind of walk them through it and tell them my experiences, and uh, just tell them, you know, you got to come out and and take it like a job and practice hard every day, because you know you're going against tough competition in practice every day, and it's going to do nothing but get you better for the game. Are you a little surprised? I mean, we look at the depth chart, there's 13 true freshmen on there in some form or fashion. Is there a little concern there? Um, no, I wasn't surprised. Um, I knew it was going to be a good group coming in. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of the 2007 class when we came in. We've had a lot of freshmen play then, but um, I think they're all talented. They're all going to get shots of playing and making plays, and we need that. You know, We need uh, competition every day because it does nothing but make the team better. There's been a lot of talk about the kind of offense that you guys are going to be this year. Do you think going into the first game, you guys know who you are as an offense, or is that something that has to be determined once you get in? I think, uh, I think we're going to run our stuff, um, whether it's run, whether we run the ball the whole game, whether we pass the ball the whole game. As long as we get the W at the end of the day, I think that's all that really matters. But I think uh, we've added a lot of different looks to some stuff. Um, and, you know, I think it'll help out everybody, receivers, running backs, quarterback, everything. Dave, the X position can be a pretty crazy one sometimes coming up in the middle. You know, what are your yeah. thoughts on, on being able to have that position so um, just My only thought is just catching the ball. But um, it's, it's a little different. Uh, you get a lot, a lot more one-on-one matchups, like you said, going across the middle. Um, but it's a challenge I'm willing to take on and um, just make plays and whether – you know, like any of us, you know, we just got to make plays in the receiver room. So, James, Coach Brown mentioned that good camp you had, and obviously the depth chart showed that. What things have you been specifically working on from last year to this year that you feel like you got that result? Um, I probably would just say paying attention to detail, little stuff, um, alignments, uh, depths on route, you know, hand position for catching, just little stuff, uh, timing with Garrett. Uh, you know, just just mainly coming out and really focusing on little stuff and competing against uh, the DBs every day. And I think that's uh, really helped me out this spring, um, this spring and this fall camp. What's what's been the biggest shift from Colt to Garrett in terms of just connecting and timing? Uh, well, they're two different types of quarterbacks. Um, I'd probably just say it's, it's kind of like starting all over if you're coming from high school, coming to college. It's the, the same, you know, connection there, but. Um, I mean, it's been smooth so far. Uh, spring was good, and I've really seen Garrett mature from the spring till now. Um, and like I said, uh, 
you just work and all you can do is just work every day and uh, that's the only way you're gonna get time. Who's fastest or easier to catch? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're both about the same, honestly. I mean, they both can can throw it, so. You're that's all I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. They're both the same to me, honestly. All of them. So. Coming into the fall, that running back we all we heard about Trey Newton, Fozzie, those were guys battling. How did Cody jump up to the top spot? Uh, I think Cody just really dedicated himself in dropping some weight. Uh, he's in better shape now. Uh, honestly, I mean, all of them look good to me in uh, two a days. It's so many different guys in, in the running back room that you could choose from, but I think that's good because they all bring something different. And I think that uh, I think we'll be fine as far as the running game is concerned. Outside of yourself, anybody you're looking forward to seeing? Just based off the way they play the training camp uh, on Saturday, you one or two guys that you take the forward to see play? You mean receivers? Or just anybody on the team? Uh, not really. <laughs> just you. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, I think receiver room, we got a lot of good. I think Marquise is doing good. Uh, Malcolm's doing good. I mean, you see a lot of younger guys, you know, Deshaun Hills, uh, even the quarterbacks with Case and Connor, they're playing good. So it's it's been really kind of a – it's not really been a surprise, but it's been good to see, you know, a lot of the younger guys stepping up and, and trying to fight for positions these uh, two of days. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what everybody does. All right, thank you. Thanks, Jay. Bye, Jay. Thanks.